Hey everybody, so I decided to change the oil in my uh, 2015 328i X-Drive BMW. There it is, I put it up on the ramps. I bought the oil. Filter, all that happy stuff. Amazon. I got the I got the liquid Molly 5W30 Special Tech. The man filter. I got the filter wrench. Put it up on the the rhino ramps and uh, you know got the rags and you know all the happy stuff you need the filters right here this is the filter housing you just take this off filters in there all the pieces the o-rings crush washer everything you need is in the filter box the fillers right here that's where you put your oil in. And of course, you know, you drain it from underneath there. And so, we're gonna get going on this and get the oil changed. You know, it's, it's like 200 bucks to take it into BMW and have them do it. It's right around $200. And uh, the oil, the five liters of special tech synthetic was I think I think I paid 37 bucks for the oil the filter was just under eleven dollars ten something of course I had the oil filter wrench but if you got to buy one of those a good one like that the aluminum one I don't know I think they probably run 15 20 bucks maybe you'll need a container to drain your oil in of course that's down there already so basically you got I'll just round everything off 40 bucks for oil 10 bucks for the filter so 50 bucks right it probably takes I don't know if you're old and slow like me, probably about 30 minutes complete, start to finish to change your oil. So whatever 30 minutes of my time is worth, I think that's about 10 cents. So, but for 40 bucks, change your oil. You literally, I'll take the oil that came out of it and I'll put it back in that jug. After I've dumped the new oil in, I'll put the old oil back in that jug and I don't know, take it down to freaking AutoZone or whatever, and they'll dispose of it, the oil in the filter, for you for free. They don't charge you nothing for that. So basically, for 50 bucks, your oil is changed. I'll even go through the steps to reset the, the, the ECU computer. And uh, that's not that difficult either. And... For 50 bucks, you changed your oil instead of taking it to BMW and paying them 200 bucks. I live in Northern California, so it's about 200 bucks, between 180 and 200, depending on what dealer you take it to and whatever. And that's if they don't decide to do something else, you know. That's just if it's just strictly just an oil change, 200 bucks. So you saved yourself. You know, somewhere between 130 and 150 bucks. To me, that's a win-win in my book because changing oil is not a big deal. I'm just uh, waiting for it to cool down a little bit. It's still a little bit hot. I had to run into the store this morning, grab a couple things. It's still a little bit freaking, a little too hot. As soon as it cools off, we'll get that oil changed.
All right, so pro tip. This really, not really, I'm not a pro. Um, anyway, you know, make sure you dress appropriately like I am. I got rubber gloves on, t-shirt, shorts, and of course, flip-flops. You know, you don't want to, you, you, safety first, right? All right, so I've got my filter wrench on my filter. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take, I, I keep old freaking shirts. Like, you know, old shirts and stuff. I don't throw them away. Well, I eventually throw them away. But what I do is, is I save them and use them for stuff like this. All right, you wanna kinda stuff some rags in there around your filter housing so if any oil drips out when you open this thing up which is extremely possible that you'll probably catch it and then have you like a plastic bag or something handy for the filter because you want to just take it out and stuff that filter right inside of a plastic bag okay so it's it's kind of cooled off it's still pretty warm but I'm gonna go ahead and get started here because you know I'm tired of waiting so go ahead and loosen your cap with your handy dandy filter wrench okay and then you're gonna just unscrew this bad boy all the way pull your filter out and stuff it straight into the bag just like that okay now you don't want anything to fall in there, so cover it up. Boom, cover it up, all right? So we'll pull our filter off and it just comes right out of this, this housing. Boom, just like that, okay? I hope you can see it. There's the old filter, boom, it's in there. We'll wipe our hands off. We'll clean this off a little bit all right okay so there's an o-ring right here okay and in your filter kit be a bag all right I hope y'all can see that I can't even tell if you can or not but there's there's a bag and there's a crush washer, an O-ring, and then a bigger O-ring, okay? Just get this over here, all right? Open up this bag and throw that shit in there. Oops, excuse me, that stuff. There's your O-ring, crush washer. This goes on the oil drain plug. You, you'll, I'll show you that later. Okay, and then what you do is, is you take a pick tool and you just take your pick tool and remove that old ring, the old one. It fell down in there, but that's okay, I can get it. There's your old ring, your old one. Okay, looks just like the new one. Okay, then you want to put the new old ring on. Just slip it on like that. Then there's an O-ring down here on the cap. See right there? Just take your pick tool. Whatever you got, throw the older O-ring away. Take the new O-ring and you're gonna put it right back in that same spot where the old O-ring came off, okay? All right, I'm gonna just kind of dip my finger in here, get a little, little oil. I'm gonna kind of oil this up a little bit. Just put a little oil on, on that new oil ring. And then just make sure you put the, put the new oil ring in the same groove that the old oil ring came out of right there, okay? 
and then just go around make sure it's all in there okay then you have your new filter all right and make sure it's the same you know, it's the old one yep looks the same to me all right and then you cram that down on there okay boom it'll go in there it'll stop it'll in there and stop and then just give it a, a little extra push to get it on all the way and you want it to go all the way on there okay so there you go take the cover off okay we didn't spill any oil whatsoever all right now screw this down in place And you want to torque this, I'll torque it later, but it tells you right on there, it tells you right on there, 25 Newton meters plus 5, okay, um, but I'll, I'll torque that here. In a little bit okay all right so that's done now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull my fill cap off okay and I'm gonna set it over here and then I'm just gonna take this this towel right here and I'm just gonna cover that hole because we don't want any we don't want anything falling down inside there okay where we're going is back here. Right here is the oil drain plug. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll grab you and show you. Right here, if you can see that, that's the oil drain plug. And it should be a 17 milliliter, millimeter, okay? Right there. So let's go ahead and I hope you guys can see. Go ahead and remove that drain plug. And you just break it loose. Okay. You should be able to remove it with your fingers from that point. Get your get your uh your catch pan ready all right what I do is I just kind of keep some pressure on it pushing up on it until it's completely unthreaded there we go all right now well, let the oil drain in there Right now is a good time to pull your your crush washer off, the old one. And just throw it in the pan, you're not gonna use it. Okay, and then grab your new one. All right. So I got my new crush washer on, see? Here's the new, new crush washer. Boom, there it is. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and put our plug back in. This bolt gets torqued too. I have to look at the book and I'll torque it after I'm done. Nice thing is, is you know, you don't have to measure nothing. It's freaking, it's, 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 it's five liters, which is exactly what the BMW, this BMW <clears throat> takes, okay? go now put our cap back on all right there we go everything's clean all I gotta do is torque this torque the uh, bolt the oil drain plug bolt and we are done so that's it that's the oil change 
How hard was that? It, it, it literally took me 10 minutes, I think, really. Um, it would have been faster if I hadn't been explaining everything, but how do I feel now that I just saved myself 150 bucks? I feel pretty good. So anyway, don't be afraid to change your own oil. You know, I mean, for the first four years I had this car, I had a full maintenance agreement. Comes with the car, right? So all the maintenance was free, so that made sense. But my warranties expired on this, the maintenance agreements expired, so, you know, I'm responsible for it now, but I'm still gonna take care of this car because, well, if you don't take care of your car, it's gonna fall apart. So, take care of your car. Anyway, that's all I got. Computer, I will show you how to reset the computer. So, till then. All right, so now we're gonna do the reset, okay? Because we just changed our oil. So what you do is, first step, is you push this, your start stop button one time, okay? So you just push your start stop button one time, all right? And then you press and hold this button over on the left hand side of the cluster all right so now it says engine oil reset possible so press it again and then reset yes press and hold it resets in progress release the button okay and there you go reset successful and that's how you reset the uh oil so that's all done all right that's it we've just done the oil change we reset the computer everything's totally done now we're good for another ten thousand miles so saved ourselves 150 bucks if you have any questions ask i'm not a mechanic i mean i've worked on cars my entire life i've never touch this with a wrench other than just to do the oil change um, that doesn't mean I won't touch it with a wrench now that the warranty is expired um, but you know I might I might not who knows anyway thanks for watching laters